Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Plan B Terraform. It is, as far as I can tell, kind of a, a sandboxy, what is our planet named? Junkus. Perfect. Uh, it is a terraforming game of turning, you know, kind of like a desolate world into something livable. Uh, and I also saw a train. I like trains. Trains on Mars, that's too much fantasy for me. Next you'll be telling me they're running on time. Our company is mandated to manage the resources of a newly discovered planet. You must bring supplies to the cities and manage terraforming projects. Good luck. <laughs> Wee! Sure, why not? That's a pretty planet. I wonder if I'm actually going to be able to interact, like... Oh. Oh, that's amazing. Instead of just being on a flat plane, I'm on the planet. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. Uh, zoom out. I've already done that. Wee! That's... Oh, that's sick. Okay, select iron. Wait, is this TTD, but with... Is this iron? No, that's aluminum. That's sulfur. Uh, that's an asteroid impact. This iron? There's some iron. This is TTD, but on a planet. I, that's actually really cool. Okay, build an extractor, place it over iron. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we want to do extractor. Do we put it on the edge? I'm going to put it right there. We'll just see what happens. Build a depot, put it near the next, on the ground next to the extractor. Okay, so that's assembly plant stuff. Depot. So this is store containers, collect them from adjacent producers and buildings and distribute them to consumer buildings. Okay, can I, can I rotate? No. I guess I'll just put it there for the time being. Hopefully this thing has an a AOE. Maybe. Depot must have an item type. All right, so no item, we're gonna switch it to iron. So it'll just grab stuff using the drone. Perfect. Okay, build one factory, place it ne next to it. Okay, 10 extractors, place them on the ground. Oh boy. Well, I have five for the time being. Ah, I see, I need steel bars to even make them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I'm just going to work at the edges and move in. Now, can I do anything else with this? No. So the question is, do we build another factory and... Yeah, sure. I'll probably get more and maybe I can, um... Get rid of them at some point. Okay, so we have steel bars. No, it is actually still making steel bars. Okay, cool. Oh, right. I need to set the depots to iron. Oops. I was wondering why they weren't working as well. Okay, and I bet I need to actually, yeah, there we go. I need to actually hook these up. Cool. So now we've got steel a plenty, assembly plant, make mechanical parts. Gonna put that there. Hopefully we get the ability to actually transport things a little bit more. Okay. Still wants me to make more of these, but I need steel bars. I should have plenty. Probably not. I've got nine. Oh, no, the factory straight up makes them. Oh. Okay. So how many have I made? Three, six, eight. So we'll just do two more. Okay, so we now have mechanical parts, factory, assembly plants. Turn steel in, and we're level two. The so steel bar, depot, assembly plants, cool. I'm hoping we can get like slight conveyor belts. So cost mechanical parts, so we have an assembly plant. This is, okay, that's the assembly plant. Factory is for steel. Oh, we already had a factory for that one. So yeah, let's let's get another assembly plant uh, going. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? 
So, build five factories, place them on the ground. I see. Yeah, can I change what it builds? Yes. And it looks like that's exactly going to have to be what I do. So let's switch this to uh, depots. Because we're going to need depots. Like a lot of them. Well, in that case, I guess let's just find kind of our, our denser setups here. And turn them into depots. I, I'm... Seriously hoping we manage to get um, some conveyor belts or something so I don't have to have the same thing over and over. Because we are going to run out of iron eventually. So is this a new factory game? I like the art style. It is a factory and... So it's a factory automation and resource transportation game. So instead of going full Factorio... Uh, well, I guess it's still kind of Factorio if you go all in on trains. Okay, I'm going to have to switch you to be factories next. Oh no, this requires mechanical parts. Oh no. Uh, wait, how do we make those? Ah. Oh. That's not helpful, is it? Okay, so I'm going to switch this back to steel bars. Steel bar is full. So this one will probably have to be our mechanical parts generation. Uh, oops. Okay. So, oh no, we can't. We cannot make factories there. Uh, oh, did I get rid of? I must have gotten rid of it when I when I did that. Uh hmm. I kind of bottlenecked myself here. Okay, can I can I just stop this for the time being? Or Yeah, shoot. So I think I might want to just let this stack out for a moment. I don't know if there's an easy way for me to... I can demolish something. Which wouldn't be the worst, but I think I'm just going to have this guy internally loop. Okay, we'll do one more. And we'll switch to mechanical parts. Because we only need a handful. Really, I just need one factory. Because if I can get that factory, we're good. But yeah, it looks like the mechanical parts I had made earlier when I switched the production away, it, uh, it actually deleted them. So I'll have to be very careful about that. I also wonder if you could just daisy chain factories without having to have a depot between them. Did you ever play Factor Factorio? I've played so much Factorio over the years. Okay, so. Uh, I'll be off by a bit, but whatever. We're going to switch this back to steel bars. Going to get rid of this. Switch you back over to depots. Okay, because we want another factory here, and then another depot. We're going to make mechanical parts, and we're going to store mechanical parts. Question, when I pick one of these up... Okay, I'm going to 
disassemble that for the time being. It can stack up. We need this assembly plant to make factories. Actually, we need it to make assembly plants for the time being. We have a little bit. Are the resource deposits depletable? Yes, which I'm not super happy about. But on the flip side, there's so many resources over the course of the game that it probably doesn't actually matter. But you'll probably never run out of resources and the game will just end first. Okay. Uh, population of 10 in your biggest city. Whoops, bring that back. So concrete, truck, road, road stops. Okay, so we actually have some things. I just have to figure out how to make it. Probably have to make it elsewhere. Uh, so, hold up, we have an extractor. Minerals from the ground. That's sulfur. That's aluminum. More aluminum. Okay, can I put, put that there? So I've got to find some kind of stone deposit that is mineable to make concrete. I guess let's just double check. Factory, choose. Want to do ah concrete requires sulfur oddly enough huh all right well we've got a whole bunch of sulfur production up here yeah let's do it oh this looks like a good spot all right start doing that put it into a depot which will go into a factory so you're gonna do sulfur into concrete and then a road. Cost for four, concrete one. And then we also have a road stop. I'm going to assume it's an assembly plant. That handles roads. Yes. Pop back down here, set this up. You are going to be con concrete. And then one final one for roads. Oh, right. We don't store roads. They just go into my infinite, uh, infinite inventory. Okay, so what do we need for this one? We have the, also have the road stop here. Oh, Will this only connect to one? Oh, it might. So in that case, let's get another depot. With an assembly plant. So you're also going to be concrete. Oh, looks like it actually balances the load between the two of them pretty, pretty cleanly. Yeah, let's get a road stop just because. Oh no, it can do multiple. That was weird. I, I think I just needed to pick a uh, resource type. Oh well, now I know. So here's a question. Yeah, it won't, that won't connect. So in that case, I'm gonna get one more depot here. And we'll just do a bit more sulfur. This factory can handle multiple being produced right now nah. I mean who cares I just want to have enough resources being managed for the time being okay so now that we've got the assembly plants a rolling let's switch you over to being depots okay so what do we need supply center kind of but we also need trucks That was an uh that was an assembly center thing, yeah. Truck needs mechanical parts. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a trek. So we want to do depot and then another depot. Second factory and then an assembly plant. You're going to be making mechanical parts. You're going to have steel 
you're going to have mechanical parts, and then you're not making extractors, you're making trucks. Alright, cool. So now we should have a whole bunch of trucks are rolling. I gotta double check. Yeah, we do actually have the developers in chat. Welcome on in! Uh, so, I guess you guys are hanging out in Twitch. Gaddy Games is the developer of this game. And I think it's self-published? I think it's self-published. Uh, so if you have any questions, direct it their direction. And, I might as well say this now and start repeating myself a little bit more. If this game looks at all interesting to you, go hit that wishlist button. It actually really does help pretty much every game that I feature today. Uh, it helps them out tremendously. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this depot. I want these to all kind of extend out in lines, because that's clean. I don't know if it's a good idea. But, I like the neat and tidiness of it all. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Alright, cool. So, now what? We need to figure out how to increase a population. So we've got, uh, new Riyadh. Re re can I... Can I rename these? I literally have no idea how to pronounce this one, unfortunately. Uh, cities require resources, uh, supply, and waste disposal, depending on their size. It's probably the supply center. We need concrete to make that. Looks like I might want another factory for this. Well, in that case, let's do exactly that. Oh, wait, am I not, am I not making factories? Did I goof and make more assembly centers? No, I'm just not producing any. Well, we could actually alternate here. What is this making? This is making assembly plants. Let's switch it to factories for the time being and actually make a factory factory. Three people li live in that shuttle. And nine years have passed. Oh no! <laughs> someday, someday the glorious Wandavad will deliver upon us uh, the ability to get rid of our trash. Until then, I guess I'm going to lay in a bed of lays. They are very patient. Or probably in cryo is going to be my assumption. Just land on the planet. Okay, wake us up when you're done. Alright, now I gotta... A factory. So what am I what am I producing? Kind of whatever. Let's just make another uh resource chain down here. Do we make another resource chain down here? No, I'm just gonna work on depleting what I got instead. One thing I would uh love to see for this one is just to give the um the mining arms just a bit of an AoE. Just so they can mine underneath this thing so I don't have to like awkwardly have this one singular spot. It doesn't matter that much. Um, what would make my life slightly easier? Okay, so we want to do... Nope, we're making iron. Perfect. Then we're making mechanical parts. And then we're making factories. I, th I think I had a factory factory earlier and I forgot to... Uh, and then I switched it away and then forgot to rebuild it. But it's fine. That's really just kind of, I want to say satisfying, just watching all the resources hopping around. Okay, so, we we're going to go up here. Now that I actually have solved my factory factory problem, let us build uh, yet another factory to make concrete. Then I'll just build another assembly plant here. These, these three can just fight over it. It doesn't really matter. And with the second factory going, it should be fine. Eventually, I'll need a higher supply rate for some of these, but I'm not burning a whole lot of roads at the moment. Yet. Music is good. Let's just say it's autonomous bases with resupply rockets from Earth. That just happens when the camera's not there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but what if I stare at a planet for too- or like at a base for too long? Like if I stare at a base for a whole- whole year, uh, do those resupply rocket- those extremely shy resupply rockets not show up? Do I have to worry about crimes of observation? Okay, so how does this work? Insufficient concrete. Alright.
You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this one. We're just gonna put it there. Let's go hyper... Uh... Hyper sulfur. Question is... Do I actually mess around with a road? Oh. Roads do work. Roads do not work. Okay, so I don't think I can actually have my supply chain uh, work in that exact manner. Which is probably fine. Let's see. I'm just going to have this be a road stop here. I think I might have to have a depot next to it. Oh boy, howdy. Hopefully there is some other way of supplying this faster because these people are going to have to wait actual years. Have I like, gone past? No. I'm just halfway. Oh, smokes. There's probably a better way of doing this that I have not discovered. But I don't know. So let's just put that there and just just hope, hope against hope. Like these noodly roads. There we go. Perfect. So get rid of this tile. Uh... How does this work? Okay, set destination. Truck stop at road stops in order to load and unload containers to and from depots. Okay, so we're going to need a depot on the other side. Uh, where is it? I should follow my roads. There we go. All right. You are going to need concrete. Uh, let's see. Go back over here. Set destination. Uh I'm sure I'll get trains. Uh, let's see, and you were transporting concrete. Number of trucks, available 52. Well, I mean, get them, boys. Ah! Oh! Oh yeah, I should probably switch this so it's actually making concrete. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna get rid of this one for the time being. We're gonna we're gonna make a second factory, um, with another depot. Concrete. Well, looks like I'm gonna need some more trucks to actually get this concrete going. Perfect. Get them, boys. <laughs> Alright, how long does it take? So, let's say these guys left on the 10th. Or day 210. How long does it take for the last truck to arrive? You can kind of see them moving along. Just a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're on the road for like three months straight. <laughs> No, it's been 80 days, 90 days. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it takes like a third of a year. Okay, this final truck reaches it on day 80. So, 210, 90, it takes 170 days to do that full circuit. <laughs> no. Oh, these poor people. Well, status is growing, city supply is very good. How? <laughs> Are those really slow trucks or is the scale a bit weird? I mean, they're driving across the planet. But, yeah, that is, that is some questions. 170 days there, 170 days back, and no brakes. Whew. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Prefer to think it's automated trucks. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Well, 
In that case, uh, do we want to see if there's any other cities closer with a with a reasonably closer sulfur setup? There probably is. Oops. I don't want the factory. Oops. Mix of long distances, simplification includes loading and unloading. Yeah, no, like this is no criticism. This is just uh oh. Uh population of hundred in our biggest city, aluminum bars, carbon, oxygen, atmospheric extractors, and landmark towers. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna start low key growing many of my other Oops, that's concrete. We need it to be sulfur. I'm just gonna start growing my other ones too. I don't actually know if this is particularly necessary, but um, it just seems like a reasonably good idea to have every city somewhat grow. You know what? Here's the other issue. I should probably do depot and then the road. Oh. Oh, that's, that's super convenient. I can make newly, newly roads. Okay, set destination. Concrete. And I've got a bunch of trucks. Let's do like 10 for now. I don't, I legitimately have no idea how many, how many is good. I would actually love kind of productivity trackers on some of those. Like, hey, you know, this actually needs like a lot more. Uh, New Madrid can deal with it though. Oh, it also looks like they're spacing out a little bit more to evenly supply. Wait, are you letting these trucks go a year on a year-long trip on a planet with no oxygen? Yeah. I am scum. So what do they need? City status stable, city supply limited, 50%. So it needs oxygen. How do we how do we oxygen? Atmospheric extractor. Uh so we need mechanical parts and aluminum. So really, I just need to actually make some of this stuff. Ooh. Oh, hey, would you look at that? So if I want to make these things, I can just do it here. It's probably going to be in an assembly plant. Oh, I could actually put these on a truck to a... on a road, couldn't I? Yeah, that might actually be easier. We'll start with these, and as they deplete, we'll move them out. Okay, so we need mechanical parts and aluminum bars. So I'll probably handle that fabrication on site. Uh, let's see. Factory, factory. Iron, aluminum, aluminum bars, okay, your mechanical parts, it was probably a more efficient way of setting this up, I just don't know how efficient I need to be, which is actually kind of nice, some of these games like uh, Satisfactory, you like really want to go all in, ah, there's mechanical parts. <laughs> oh, baby, that's amazing. Uh, let's see, how many trucks do I need to do this? You know what, it doesn't matter. How many trucks can I fit? Yes! 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 <laughs> oh wait, shoot, there's room for one more. What happened? It must be smooth. <laughs> Oh, 
look at that. That is a thing of beauty. I love it. Um, okay, so we need an assembler. Assembly plant. Here we go. Alright, so you're going to just be working on... Let's see. Supply centers. Wait, not supply centers. What am I, what am I doing? Atmospheric extractors. Alright, there we go. Oh, that was way funnier than it ought to be, but I am so happy for it. Okay, uh... Do we go straight with this one, or do I do something really stupid? Yeah, yeah, that's about as... No. <laughs> I was hoping I could get them to drive wonky, but it's fine. Okay. <laughs> so this one guy is going to have to do all the work, and the other... No, no. We'll, we'll give this guy some compatriots. Oh, no. <laughs> They're clipping into each other, I think. Oh, no, they've... Yes, they are clipping into... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, right. I have to actually get, uh, accept aluminum bars. Uh, hmm... I might have to fix this a little bit. I, I think there's literally too many and they cannot move because they're inside of each other. All right. Let's just... There we go. All right. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I don't apologize for the things I have done. All right. I'm going to make an another assembly plant just to uh, make more of these because... Uh, Oops, that's assembly plants. That's not what I want. More ex atmospheric extractors. Holy shit, I am having a good time with this game. It's great. I definitely did not design this game with such truck lines in mind. Oh, hey, look. We can actually fit another truck in here. There it is. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Oh, that is really satisfying to look at, too. And once again, as far as I can tell, there's literally no downside. <laughs> yeah, it's quite beautiful, actually. Yeah. yeah. You didn't include conveyor belts, so I just had to make my own. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm going to need some more mechanical parts in here. Oh, right, of course, because I need three at a time. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's kind of inconvenient, isn't it? Okay, so we want a factory. I have a question. Oh no, it needs a depot. Hold up. Is this is this even going to How is this going to function? Okay, so you're going to be iron. You are going to be steel bars. You are going to be mechanical parts. Uh, let's see. So that's making iron. This is going to be making... Wait. Do I have too many factories here? No, I don't. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is it actually unloading? I, th I think it is. No. <laughs> it loads and then it takes it away. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to not have that be there. Wrong depot. I don't know if I can change it, though, is the one issue. So I just have to have these slightly separate. Oh, you're right. It is the wrong depot. Huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, no. Change the destination. There we go. That's what I was doing wrong. <laughs> okay, cool. Now that, now that I've actually figured out my stuff, yeah, I was delivering to the wrong one. Oops. Uh, let's see. Do we think this singular truck is enough? I think so, actually. Yeah. Perfect. 
So now I should have plenty of atmospheric extractors. Let's go take a look at New Riyadh. Uh, let's see. And population is currently stable because you need oxygen. Do I just slap this right here? Yeah, it looks like it. So, do I just give them, like, a couple? Oh, no. What I need is another depot in city limits. Wait, but what if I just put it here with the atmospheric extractors right next to them with oxygen? Is this going to mess up the city or is it is it good? Oh, nope, 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 because we need another road. Well, I mean, that's kind of convenient, though, because all I have to do to some degree is put this right here with a depot next to it, surrounded by oxygen extractors. Wait. What? Do I need to have multiple of these? I can't just have them drop off at the same drop off location? I guess so. I guess in that case, I'm going to preemptively add a couple more of these. So annual supply demand is 10. Oh. <sighs> Time to cause the worst bottleneck that ever did hit this city. Yeah, that'll do or something. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you're gonna be concrete. Or no. You're gonna be concrete. You're going to be oxygen. I think that just deleted it all. Well, that's fine. Okay. So let's go back to this because it's uh, now having problems. Change destination. Concrete's there. Oh, did that just... Oh, that's weird. Okay, so that just kind of resets it. That's weird. I can also build several supply centers. It's true. What is the range on a supply center, by the way, for the city? Let's see. Do we have a decent supply? I think we do. And we seem to have plenty of uh, concrete, too. All right, city's growing again. Uh, that was weirdly scuffed, but now I now I understand what I'm doing. New Madrid can just deal with deal with it. Oh, I never actually built a supply center here. Oops. Okay. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna preemptively build these. So that's gonna be oxygen, that's gonna be I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna put that there. Hopefully this way new Nagoya will go some other direction. Uh let's see. Okay, so we wanna do another one of these. I'd say we might have to worry about road congestion, but I'm not actually sure if that's the case. We've already seen trucks phasing into each other. So that might not be an issue. Okay. Set destination. You're going to be here with oxygen. And right, this actually has to have oxygen on it.
Okay, annual transport capacity 53. Perfect. So now we've got oxygen. Perfect. Let's see, atmospheric processors produce carbon as well. They do. I'll have to figure out what to do with carbon. Luckily, they don't stop producing oxygen even if they're filled out, uh, filled up with carbon. Uh, did we actually need carbon for anything? I don't know, it's a raw material of some variety. I'll get to it when I get to it. Luckily, uh, we're, we can just pull air out of nothing. Okay, so let's let's go back to uh, New Riyadh. Oh wow, they've they've come a long way in a little while, and it looks like their population's doing fine. Annual supply demand is 22, 23. Yeah, we're good. We might honestly need more trucks on this. Transport capacity is 43. Okay, I'm really glad I can actually see this because then I can uh, individually adjust how many trucks I'm bringing in. You don't worry about New Madrid. <laughs> some point I might be forced to, but right now, no. Nah. Wait, here's an absolutely wild idea. Now let's... Let's do this. Okay, so reason being, I'm not sure if this works. Oh, demo is completed. Oh, I guess I'll add it to my wish list. Sure. Uh, it's already on my wish list. Never mind. Uh, let's see. Can I not do any more with this? I might not be able to. I was wondering if I could actually put the road across in that matter. Um, to force the uh to force the city to only grow in one direction. Hey, send you a key on Twitter if you want for, want one. Yeah, I would actually love that. Uh, let's see, can I close out of this? It looks like I might still be able to play. Hold up, I'm gonna, if I load game, okay, it looks like Junkus is just continue going. Game is saved successfully, that's perfect. Uh, let's see, you got any requirements on this? Cause I wouldn't mind playing like another 10 minutes. Uh, just, uh, just a little further, just because. But thank you for the hookup right off the bat. Uh, let's see, wish to continue after the demo's end. Here it is. Thank you. Yeah, do you mind if I keep playing for 10 more minutes? Or should I stop there and, uh, save all of the cool later features, uh, for the actual full release? 10 minutes. I should play other things. I really should. I'll see if it even uh, keeps my save file between, because I think that is actually kind of important. And one more turn. You have no idea how absolutely, like, hooked I am um, on transporting and automation games. Like, transportation and automation games are very much my... Not my kryptonite. I'm not sure. I, I don't know how to describe it beyond just, like... I am obsessed with these kinds of games, and it's so nice to actually have one that is uh, as substantive as this. My jam! There we go. That's a good one. So I'm going to look at it just for a little bit more. Uh, just because, yeah, I really I really like the hex grid setup. I know, I know I'm seeing somebody complaining about it a little bit, but like for me, this is great. Uh, this game looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, has a lot of the mechanics I'm looking for. Uh, in a sandbox and automation kind of game and then also it's chill there's no like failure state from what I can tell special buildings landmark tower display custom text in the main view on the mini map eh. uh, I'll make do so what is the new tech that I even got polymer bars reinforced concrete high-tech parts and a tra on a depot mark II. store containers collect them from adjacent producers two hex range and distribute them to consumer buildings. Oh, so it's just a little longer is the answer. Uh, oh, and they want, they want reinforced concrete. They don't want my Namby Pamby regular concrete anymore. That, that's a thing in the past. Now it's reinforced concrete or nothing. Huh. How do I reinforce concrete? Oh no, please help. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm going to assume it's maybe the factory? Reinforced concrete requires steel bars. Ooh, yeah, we got some resource chaining 
to do. So yeah, what I'm going to have to look into... Uh, what I'm going to have to probably do is is actually build like a... Uh, a concrete and iron... Or concrete and steel production facility out here. Uh, that I root things into and instead of trying to... Uh, set up things... Externally, I guess. Like instead of trying to pump the resources over here. Better to probably just... Yeah, make a main main bus. Like, literally build a giant factory for quite a number of these things all over the place. Oh, that's neat. So, apparently there's actually going to be a, uh, a story for this game, too, over the course of Early Access. Wow. You could have told me this is going to be a full release, and I would have believed you. The fact that this is, uh, this feels this complete and is launching in Early Access is kind of nice, actually. Now I'm really digging this. The, uh, once again, combination of resource logistics uh, and transportation with slight automation is... I'm honestly baffled that I haven't seen more of it. Like, yeah, Factorio has it, but it's not, like, really integral part of the game. And you can get around it with either drones or just obscene amounts of conveyor belts. And in this one, it's using more kind of open TDD mechanics, which I appreciate uh, a lot, actually. So do we have a release date on this game? Just because. Because, yeah, I'd, I'd like to keep going. Oh, wow, it's soon, actually. So, I guess, uh, for those of you watching this, we'll be back to this in maybe about a week or two. Because uh, this is launching on February 15th in Early Access on Steam. And so, I'll be playing more of it then. I might even start trying to do some YouTube streams so I can play a little bit more. As opposed to, uh... Oh... Uh, so as opposed to, you know, just doing one-off episodes, we'll see. Uh, but you can actually finish the game. One million population and five percent of the planet covered by forests. Neat. Uh, but the levels are a bit rough. No story and just numbers to get. Eh, it works. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy... I mean, I play Factorio without the story. I play TTD without the story. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm excited for this one. But... In the interest of time and having so many other things to check out, I'm going to put this one on the back burner for a week or two, and we'll come back uh, when it's closer to release. But this is fun. This is great. 